Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Hittite channel and today I wanted to answer the question who were the Hittites and where did they come from? Well ultimately they are one of many Indo-European dialect speaking groups who entered Anatolia. From the east or from the west or when exactly is hotly debated amongst academics so I won't talk about it too much here. But it was either this passage or this passage into the area. Over time, the Hittites established a foothold in the kingdom and became power players, contemporary to other illustrious states like the Assyrians, Egyptians and Babylonians. But actually, their origins stem from another kingdom, the kingdom of Kusara. The exact geographical location of this kingdom has been lost to time, but academics speculate that it was somewhere in this region. We know of two kings of Kusara in the historical record, a father and a son, and they both played a foundational role in the establishment of the Hittite kingdom. The Kusarans themselves were probably a small buffer state between the Hattians located somewhere here and more powerful estates to the east. The Hattic people themselves were organised into city-states and the level of exact cooperation with each other is unknown. Each city-state was probably rather independent, which worked to the advantage of the Kasarans. The Kasarans began to establish their power in this region and progressively encroach on the Hattians. First, the father in our father and son story, Pethana, took the city of Kanesh, a vital trading city, modern-day Kultepe, and the Hittites called this city Nesha. Nesha is actually the source of the name that the Hittites used to describe their own language, Neshili, indicating the city's importance to the Hittites, and despite a Hattian uprising, the proto-Hittite kingdom, the kingdom of Kasara, secured complete control, eventually allowing Pithana's son to take the next vital step, which was conquest of this city here, Hattusha, another key city in the region. Hattusha would later become the capital of the Hittite kingdom, and Anita's successor is said to have taken the regal name after the city, Hattushili I, or literally, he from Hattusha. Hattushili I also used the byname Man of Kusara, indicating an overt doff of the hat to the proto-Hittite kingdom, Kusara. The Hittites progressively absorbed administrative control, the trading networks, and even elements of religious practice from the Hattians. The Kasaran usurpation of the Hattian kingdom is what ultimately gave rise to the Hittites, formally starting with the reign of Hattushili I. With these two city-states under control, alongside other minor Hattian states subdued, the foundation was laid for a successful Hittite future. The usurpation of the Hattian kingdom was so successful that the Hittites themselves, alongside other states in the region, continued to acknowledge the Hittites as the Hattians. And in fact, the Hittites themselves called themselves men from Hattia. So there we have it. Who were the Hittites? Well, they were the amalgamation of the proto-Hittite kingdom Kasara and the Hattians. And where did they come from? Ultimately, that's still debated, either through this route here or this route here, but this Kasarian kingdom eventually grew into this Hittite kingdom, which is displayed for us here, earning their rightful place in the annals of history. I hope this has been useful for you. That's all from me for today. I'll be back very soon with something interesting about the Hittite language or the Hittite people. It's been a pleasure to speak to you for these few moments today. Have a great day and all the best.